everybody, John and I are two here, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. When we last left off, boom, there we are in the mirror. We uh, helped Sadie get a bounty back from someone who stole the bounty from her. We ended up killing about, man, I would say 40 to 50 men in the process, but hey, we got paid 200 bucks, so a win, I guess. Now we're going to go buy a house. And I don't know how this works, so we're going to go find this out. Apparently we can go buy it out of a catalog. Yeah, on my way there, yellow dude. Painting. Also painting. Alright, let's get out of here so we can move a little quicker. We got 600 bucks. Now they gave us two for that mission, 200. And... We had to do that mission before we could do this mission, which is to buy a house. So it leads me to believe that $200 can buy us a house, or at least get one started. So let's go to the lumber yard, it appears. So do we just contract a group of individuals to come build the house for us, much like you would today? Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> Joking. How can I help you, friend? Listen, I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient okay. and cost-efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? Oh, house manual. All right. Each one. We house hunters now. Cowboy manual. house hunters. But. Also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks. Maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have No, I don't get to choose. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here. And, uh... You sign your name there. Oh, that looks you like will crap. Be a proud owner of a factory built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. Don't y'all need to know you boys give me a minute. where to build my house? What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Yeah, they attacked Lots me too. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devin, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. All right. Sir? About to go you kill us some Skinner's. The man's in need of post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. So they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. <laughs> I'll get you a good deal. Mjolnir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. Let's go do it. All right. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Well, hold on, Charles. All right, I need... Carbine, yeah, that's really all I need. Carbine will work. And how is my cores looking? Eh, dead eyes okay for now. We'll drink something in a little bit to replenish it. Come on, let's go, horses. Is your friend a Negro or a red Hey, there's no need for that. Take a bit of both for what it's worth. Cash is cash. So it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I No, guess. I don't know anything about it. No. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. 
instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. You All don't right. look big and scary, I'm sorry, dude. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. So we're going okay, to buy now, tools. Back to what you were saying. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. You are full of yourself. Real good of you. Dutch would love you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Yeah. Guess it figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. Niels knows. Just up ahead. Okay. The next episode of Niels Knows Tools. John and Charles go to buy some tools. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Let's go. Let's acquire some tools. How much in debt are we getting? Hey, Nils, my boy. What's Nils. going on? Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. Look at them spark effects. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold. Seems fine to me. Best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. I think he's just going to Beecher's Hope. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. <laughs> Nils, man, you are the man. Come live at my camp. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Yeah, I got it. Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like you. Yeah, well, we're getting shot at. Yeah. Good job there, Willard Wayne. Okay. Alright. Bam. 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 And let's reload. Bam. What the hell is going on? Willard, how you hold up there? We get you out of here. What you the hell? Oh. You okay? What's up, Pharaoh? I need to get behind some cover. Check the tree line. These guys are rushing. All right, well, I'm about to die. Let's uh, let's get some health cure. Run! Need some cover. All right, there we go. Reload.
Not trying to be too quiet, just trying to, you know, murder. There we go. All right. You alive? No. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. <sighs> Jesus. Right, you stay here. Guard the wagon. Charles, come on. Let's go. Over here. I'm coming. Why are they taking like a whole ass man? Get the gun out. They're in the trees? Where? I don't... Oh, they are in the trees. Reload. Alright, let's, uh... Hold on, I gotta drink some of this, uh... I need some dead eye juice. Let's get some tobacco going. There we go. Run. Come on. Peek out. We are. We're killing tons of these people. Uh oh. Mr. Wayne! We're coming! Mr. Wayne. Okay. Keep going. Where's Wayne? He's probably dead. Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne. There's the tools. Charles, I found the tools. Now where's Mr. F yeah. He didn't make Shit. it. Are you getting them? Jesus. Good job. Can I loot? We gotta move fast. Come on. I do I gotta just move. Kinda wanna loot though. Can't loot. Can I move faster? Can't move faster. If I walk over them, I get ammo, right? Nope, not getting anything. Probably because I'm holding the tools. Charles, you with me? I don't see Charles. Come on. All this for a house, man. These were the Skinners, right? God damn it! A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinners. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. What do I gotta do? I gotta go up here. Tools. Tools. All right, let's get out of here. Oh my lord! What they do to him? They nice. killed him. All right, wait for Charles. Come on. Oh, he's coming up here with me. Shit! Those goddamn animals. Okay, John, I'm riding with you. Yeah, I could tell. Get us back to beaches. Working on it. Let's go quick. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought. Let's just this, kill them all. 
this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed. Sure. Oh, this is right at my, my ranch. Okay. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. It was a caravan. A few months back. Massacre. We'll be a new gang. A gang for good. Just like Dutch was trying to do. No, don't repeat it. Your uncle's alive. Okay. You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town. You pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. Well, we got our house lumber. And John. I love you. Don't you forget that. Come back, Abigail. He's doing all this for you. And Lancelot. Otherwise known as Jack. Bank loan received, 800. Bank loan received, 23. What does that mean? Does that mean I'm just getting more and more in debt? That's what it sounds like. Where's my house? Over there? Are they building it over here? Oh, there's an uncle mission. Hold on. Let's uh let's sleep real quick. Then we'll go see uncle. No, not rest by fire. Sleep. Sleep till morning, 20 hours. Go see what uncle's got. Hopefully we see this house get built. All right. It's the next morning, new journal entry. We can see our fence line like all the way around, except for this side. We can kind of see it through there. It goes down over here. Okay. All right, Uncle, what you got? Those plans make any sense? Do we have to build it? Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning and. You do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Are you use what you got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We got to get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. <laughs> Should get on with this. Thanks, Charles, for just deciding to help us build a house. Oh, we got a montage? Okay. Oh, we're doing this lift. Carry. trip don't trip real easy to trip here hammer nail oh in in beat with the music too I like it carry the joist over here now hammer nail 
hammer nail, hammer nail, hammer nail now. Montage. Ranch building montage. Building house well, for Abigail. A rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Content. Well, we work Copyright so claim. to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever, no matter what the weather, we're together. I feel like we need more people, but hey, he's doing it. Ooh, pull up, lift Put these walls up. Man, if this don't win Abigail back, she don't deserve us. It's coming together nicely. I even like the rough columns. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow, or the rain, or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter any weather, we're together. Freaking Charles. Oh man, it's looking nice. Putting the shingles on. Hammer nails. Place. Place. Did we do it? Did you build a house with your bare hands? <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, Aww. I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> Want to write a letter to Abby? Let her know how good you've been doing, aside from all the murder. Darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard he is. to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. Now that, that flashback is, I've purchased a home. Doesn't look the like how it actually looked. About in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met uncle while I was coming out of the bank and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please. Come back to me. Uh -huh. As always, John. You have no heart, Abigail, if you don't come back to this man. A few days later. Accomplishment, cowboy builder. 
This place looks nice. Does it have electricity? No, it looks like oil. That was a dumb thing to say. There's no, there's no electricity here. Uncle, I thought you was. Where the hell? Mm mm. A new Jerusalem. All right. So what do we got here? We got Uncle way over here. All right, let's look at our house. We just built this thing. This deck. Oh, and it's covered over here. That's nice. Got some tools. Got a place for our horses. Come on, let's go inside. Yeah. All right, so this is the foyer. You'll see the great room here. Where we have absolutely... Well, we got a little bit of furniture. We don't have much furniture. We're sleeping on the floor here. But that's all right. What's this room? Kitchen? No. Can't go in there? What's this room? All right. Somebody else is staying in here. We're keeping our onions and garlic up here. Along with our biscuits. We need some, uh, some cabinets. Okay. Okay. I like the great room. Love the fireplace. Did y'all just stack stone this fireplace out of nothing? Alright, yeah, we need some furniture. We need to finish the walls, too. They're not quite complete. Got a pot. Got a little... Oh! We can go upstairs. We'll, we'll check that out in a second. What's over here? other side of the fireplace. I imagine this is probably it's a map. I was guessing one of these is going to be the kitchen, right? Maybe near that big fireplace. Or maybe this area. Who knows? Let's go up uh, up top see what we got up there. Oh, it's a loft. Oh, is this for storage or is this where, what's his name, is going to sleep? We put the wood up here? Okay, storage, a lot of alcohol, dirty sheets, okay. I'm assuming this is where uh, Lancelot slash Jack's going to want to sleep. Cool, good house. You still got a little more work to do on it, but not so bad. What's out this way? back door I would imagine all right nice there's Charles we got to go see uncle he's out see how that's a fence let's run yeah we can run oh we got more stamina by doing that awesome uncle better not be dead whoa We've started to till the land. All right, all right. Good job there, John. All right. I'm worried about Uncle, but we're going to have to wait and see next episode. It says he's up still. Is he in that tree, or is he just on the other side of that rock? think he's asleep right there. Hopefully he's not dead. Okay, he's alive. Alright, so we'll go talk to Uncle next episode. Uh, if you like my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe if you're feeling especially generous. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.